Hi, good afternoon, good evening. It's just Damien. I'm back. I've got the girls out again. I've got the girls out. Got a bit, little bit of mascara on, a little bit of lipstick. Uh, no dress today, but the ladies' clothes are more the more ladies' clothes. Uh, these are the first ones that I got uh, when I was starting the gender ex exploration in that. And these are from New Look, and I do. Uh, really appreciate their help and um, i'm going to try to wear these a little bit more often as well as my ladies jeans and more ladies t-shirts and that i do get more anxiety in that wearing ladies t-shirts and ladies trousers for some reason than i do wearing a dress but i'm going to try and i'm doing it for you not me um another thing is i am trying to vouch for change uh, within the NHS and within the government um, you can't really say that the NHS or the mental health service is rubbish because we are the, one of the only countries in the world that has, has an NHS I do admit from personal experience and that that I have been treated badly in the past and I have been uh, discriminated in that against in in the past with the NHS. I have sent an email a letter today, special delivery. It should be there tomorrow uh, to the Prime Minister Keir Starmer, uh, just to try to uh, address some issues that I have. Address my story, get my story out there, told, see if they want to work with me, and see if other people will work with me. I don't mind i know that my story is upsetting i'm not going to go into fully on youtube or whatever what it's about but i had some experiences with the minute with the nhs system last year and the minute mental health service um but i want to use my experience my stories so that others don't have to go through the same or similar to me um i do want to go out dress more get the girls out more I do want to be able to work, uh, voluntary work or media work or or whatever. I am looking at further training or voluntary work. However, I have had difficulties and that kind of thing where people have said my needs too complex, too specialist. Um, I just was trying to highlight to the government and to the other situation in that that uh, people with disabilities or on the spectrum or who are different in any way uh, don't always get the voice heard and things often get misinterpreted because people don't understand the situation, understand the situation around that individual and around their needs and a lot of time people are making judgments before they even get to speak to the person in question and that kind of thing so so yeah um i am trying to get things back back on track and i would like to work with the labor government on moving forward i always vote for labor I, the only one time that i didn't was with the last european elections that we were involved with uh, because I voted Liberal then because I would have voted Labour, but Liberal were the only ones that the um the Liberal were the only ones that still had policies and beliefs about staying in Europe, and I wanted to stay in Europe uh, really. But every other election and general election that kind of thing, I've always voted Labour. Uh, but yeah, I just would wonder what to see what the Prime Minister's like uh, to get Labour back, to get the country back up and running, to work with people like me who uh, don't go by the norm, uh, to allow me to be able to meet them, to meet them or meet with the MP, uh, just so that I can address these issues and these, these issues personally. Um, it's my vow and my commitment and that to still make videos, to still do guidance and to still do guidance and still want and to understand, to 
promote equality and diversity for this channel and it's my belief that I will still make videos on that uh, to inspire other people, to share my stories and to inspire other people into believing in themselves again into knowing that they're not alone and that kind of thing um, on on the other hand and I would like to uh, wish a very good uh, congratulations to Lewis Hamilton first win since 2021 and it was good to see him winning in that again uh, I don't know if any of you has watched it on Sky Sports Ted Kravis was saying about people biting biting the nails and that kind of thing and I was I was personally biting my nails I was sat up on the couch I was biting my nails um it was getting worse it was getting worse when Verstappen was starting to set the fastest lap times and gain on Norris it was really emotional and that at the end and I was getting a little bit emotional in that and I did feel like I was my eyes were starting to water and I was crying a bit when Lewis Hamilton won uh, to be honest um, it's made me emotional now thinking about it but if I listen to the radio comments and that still uh, with Lewis Hamilton in tears and that it's getting me in tears and that as well so so yeah it's a really good positive impact I feel that there's more for Lewis Hamilton to be able to get the best out of himself again for the rest of the year I feel that Lewis Hamilton's finally won again and he can start driving at the best of his ability again and I do feel like this positive change more with him I did ring Mercedes and that today to, to wish him a congratulations and everything and I still do that and yeah it's it's really good to see him back on the top step in that as well but yeah um, I have ideas I have ideas what I want to bring to light I've got things that I want to work on I want to experience going holiday dressed I want to be able to start driving in that again and wearing a dress when I'm driving and experience what it's like to have the girls out whilst I'm driving and there's so much and so many opportunities that I would like to learn more about with with the gender journey and with the cross-dressing and that especially um, I don't have many hobbies or many passions uh, apart from the cross-dressing the Formula 1 and going to the driving range and making these videos but I do want to experience all of my hobbies all of my uh, all of my exploration in that at some point at least once where I'm presenting feminine femininely and and making a connection between between them all and I do believe strongly that that will happen eventually one day um, I'm not sure about the driving if that'll be this year or next year or whatever but I am trying to work with the DVLA and get my license back as I've said before I've had issues where people haven't understand the autism understood so the mental health but yeah I'm just I'm just taking each day as it comes I am getting a little bit overwhelmed every now and then I am putting a little bit too much pressure on myself at times and I am trying to do too much too many things in one go but it's because I feel like I want to change the world for me I want to change the world for other people and I want to inspire other people in that as well I have booked up to see the Lady Boys of Bangkok again I will be going to see them again in Middlesbrough uh, I really enjoyed that show I'm scared of drag queens but the Lady Boys of Bangkok normal transgender women and they look they're not as flamboyant and it helps me to understand myself a little bit better but yeah um, I would like to start dating as well with someone supportive of the cross-dressing and that I am hands up still a virgin Han I am still a virgin I've generally never dated before and I would like to experience that as well and I am trying to make steps towards 
improving myself, improving my body language, improving the way that I communicate because there has been boundary issues where things have uh, been misinterpreted because of the autism because I've said or done the wrong thing and it's been mis miscommunicated, misinterpreted but I feel like there's a positive path moving forward. I feel that labour are going to help me get the best out of my, myself in that as well and I feel that I am making more of a commitment to bettering myself and that kind of thing. I've got Catherine around me, I've got Tracy around me, I've got my mum and dad, uh, some people in the family like my dad aren't as supportive as others with the dressing and that kind of thing. But yeah, I would like to learn more to be able to better myself, to be able to get get the best out of myself and to be able to share it with you, to inspire you, to get the best out of you. But yeah, I, I am on a journey and it's starting to get better. Um, I still get flashbacks and voices in my head of uh, professionals saying the incorrect things to me, like they don't mind if you overdose and I do want help with that and I I'm trying to understand it a bit better myself. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and yeah, I I make mistakes and I'm going to share the journey with you and share some of the mistakes we have. I'm not going to share all of them because some of them are too personal and too hard to overcome by but generally I'm um, being congruent with myself and being congruent with you and we need to share this journey together to inspire others but yeah thank you bye